Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse P. here in beautiful Loveland, Colorado with my friends Custom and Nightwing to give our review video of the long-awaited and much-anticipated Beta FPV Air Brushless <laughs> Air Brushless Flight Controller, the 5-in-1. This is the one that could be the answer to all of our Tiny Whoop dreams. So we're going to be putting it through the paces. We're we'll talking about all the details. There's some improvements to the gyro, to the processor, to the VTX. We'll be talking about all of that, but we're also going to answer the question, can it freestyle? Can it race? Can it nerk? Can it tree weave? And of course, can it gorilla? We're going to be checking out a bunch of different locations. So stick with us. Let's get into this thing. There it is up close, ladies and gentlemen. Notice there's no heavy USB-C connector. We use an adapter, which I think is awesome. We've got the tiny whip milligram scale zeroed out down to the one-tenth of a milligram, because milligrams do matter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can get for an official weight. 3.7710, I love that. Let's take a look at the build itself. This was put together by my friend and tiny whip world champion, Tristan T-Dog Tef. So huge shout out to T-Dog for letting us rail this build that he put so much love and work into. You can see he's got the five and one right there in the middle flipped upside down so he could hit the connector a lot easier. He's also got the custom FPV mount on the front, 28,000 kV motors, HQ ultralight props, and of course a heavily modified Meteor 65 airframe. He's cut a lot of plastic off of this thing. And what a work of art it is, so thank you so much T-Dog. a lot of the technical specs and hardcore flight in just a minute. But first, we're going to answer the question, can it nerf? That's a quick fix. But yeah, everything else is fine on it. Wait, does that mean it can't nerk? No, it definitely can. That's just I can't nerk no, as well as nerk can nerk. nerk. <laughs> <laughs> what is nerk? Dude, really tight. Dude, this place is epic. When it comes to freestyling or racing, this baby's got a faster processor. According to Beta FPV, the G473 processor can compute 20, no, 55% faster than the current standard, which is one of the F4 processors that are on most boards nowadays. That means faster response times and more precise maneuvers. When it comes to the question, can it race? Let's go straight to the world champion of Tiny Whip Drone Racing, team pilot, Tristan T-Dog Teft. What's up Tiny Whip community, this is T-Dog. I got the opportunity to fly the new FC, both practicing at my home and at a race. I love the weight, I like four points of contact, I like that I don't have to mod the USB connector, but my board had a lower power output from the VTX, so I didn't use it in finals at the local race the other night. We don't know yet if it's a problem with the board or if it was just my particular board. Overall with my board I'd give it an 8 out of 10.
Kinnear brushless five in one tree weave. Pretty much obviously yes. The only reason it would be a little more difficult is because you've got such a light build. I find that when I'm tree weaving, I like to have a little more weight for even more throttle resolution, increase my altitude control. But you can always add more weight. And when it comes to gorilla whooping, all you really care about is that hardcore VTX output. 400 milliwatts, we got this baby cranked all the way up. And we're gonna try to hit into that bar. And I think that ice cream parlor, and maybe that bar. Here we go. Obviously the new 5-in-1 can nurk freestyle race gorilla tree weave. We kind of already knew it could do that. Is it the flight controller of our dreams? I'm honestly really hopeful right now. If all of them are like the ones I tested, then I am super excited about this addition to the Tiny Whoop world. It really does seem like the spirit of this project is to take Tiny Whoop technology to the new level. I like the gyro, I like the processor, I love the way Beta FPV moved some of the sensitive components away from the front of the board to lower impact areas. And I really can't wait for the community to get their hands on this first batch so we can find out if it's everything I think it is. Thank you so much to Custom and Nightwing for helping me with this project. Thank you to Beta FPV for pushing Tiny Whoop technology forward and for listening and responding to the community. Subscribe to the official Tiny Whoop YouTube channel everybody and we'll see you in the next one.